My name is Alex Perkins. I'm the chief roboticist for the Stretch program, which means I lead the software team that develops the autonomous capabilities that you'll see today. Today we're demonstrating Stretch autonomously unloading uh, trailers, trucks, shipping containers. Uh, these consist of basically floor stacked cases, weights up to 50 pounds, dimensions up to 90 centimeters long so they can get pretty big and it gets unloaded onto a conveyor that then would be ingested into the rest of the manufacturing or the logistics facility. It's basically got a perception system, an arm, a manipulator, and a mobile base, and an independent battery pack to allow it to traverse autonomously throughout a facility. This has been an exciting year for Stretch. We've deployed at multiple customer sites. We also have a bunch of exciting new features. We launched stable case placement, which means that customers get to decide how cases are oriented based on downstream requirements. We launched LiDAR box recovery, so uh, we have a much faster way for Stretch to clean up if there happens to be a box on the floor of the truck. And we launched multi-pick, which means that Stretch can not just pick one box at a time, but up to four, which greatly reduces the speed that we can empty a truck. In multi-pick, Stretch is using its perception system as well as knowledge about its own grippers. So Stretch has a smart gripper that allows it to turn on and off different suction cups. So it's actually planning based on the actual case geometry and its own ability to plan a trajectory, uh, grabbing multiple cases at a time and moving multiple cases at a time. Stretch has only been in the market picking in production for just a hair over a year now. In that time, we've almost tripled our daily active case rate at most customer sites, as well as reduced our intervention rate by almost 80%. That's a main focus for us here at Boston Dynamics. We hear from the inbound operation managers that if they have to babysit a robot, if they need an engineer on site to run it, they don't want anything to do with it. So we've spent the last 12 months making Stretch so easy to use that we can train a customer to run that robot in less than a day. So we introduced something new at the show this year. Um, a lot of people are interested in the small operator tablet with our safety officer that's in the cage. So we've actually put interactive displays here this year that uh, people can come up and they can see how easy it is to run Stretch, how easy it is to use. We can talk through setting up a workflow and getting it started and go exactly through what we would do in a customer training scenario. The feedback we've received from our customer base to date has been absolutely phenomenal. They love the fact that you can deploy a Stretch in a matter of days and have their associates running it only a couple days after that, which really empowers them to make the most of that, their technology. It's also providing a critical stopgap to the labor shortages that are increasingly prevalent in some of these very high physically demanding environments and some pretty brutal working conditions, especially in the southeastern sections of the United States during the summer. And the robot provides reliable, dependable throughput that allows them to shift their labor focuses further into the facility. Most of our customers are expanding at this point, so uh, we're past the pilot stages and we're moving into full production uh, at almost every single customer facility and beyond to new facilities, as well as launching in Europe this summer, which is super exciting for us. We have a lot of exciting developments in the work for Stretch right now. They include the normal progression of continuing to increase our performance over time, increase our capabilities and handling over time, and we're very excited to be starting to think about launching our future applications of case picking where we're building multi-skew pallets deeper into the warehousing facilities.